Hi there awakening beings and spiritual souls, Jo Rose of JoRose.com, numerologist and energy healer. In this video I'm sharing with you the personal year 8 for 2019. 2019 has a universal energy of a 3 and we get that by adding together the numbers of the year. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3. This year is about self-expression, the joy of living. It's very creative and it's really about inspiring, but inspiring others by being the true you. To understand more about this energy, please check out my video. I will leave the link below. So moving on to the personal year eight, how do we work out what personal year we're in? Well, we take our day, a month of birth. And in this case, I'm using five 5th of September. We reduce down each number to a single digit. In this case, 5 is already reduced down, but if it was a 23, it would be 2 plus 3 equals 5. September's the ninth month, so we would add together 5, 9, and 3 from the current year. This is 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. So I will again leave below how to work out what personal year you're in. But if you want to know and you want me to work it out or confirm it, just leave in the comments box below what, what your day and month of birth is or your, your, your birthday, so I know. Um, and if you're American, just, just write it so it's English. So I want the day, the month. So even write out the month, then I know otherwise I can't help because some, I might get it back to front and it's really important that I get things the right way around. Moving on, so personal year eight, what lies ahead? Well, after last year, where possibly it felt very slow, withdrawn, much doubt was in there. It was an introverted year, and the eight year is the total opposite. The eight year is you're ready to go, you wanna get going, you've got these great visions, but you wouldn't have discovered this had you not had the energy of the previous year. So you've done a lot of reflection, you've narrowed down what it is, and now you continue to what you want to harvest. So let's take off the brakes and see. What's renewed now is your strength, your confidence, and your ability to step into your own personal power. I want you to share things passionately. If you don't believe in you and whatever it is that you are bringing to any situation, how can anybody else understand that? I was watching Graham Norton last night and the conversation come up when, um, oh, is it Richard Elliott didn't want to watch the movie he was recently in. He said he doesn't watch the movies. And Graham Norton shared that he watches it because he said, if I don't watch it, if I'm too embarrassed to watch it, why would I expect anybody else to watch it? And it's a great point. We really need to be involved in our life. So it's a great time to step into that power and own who you are. Be more assertive, be more determined, focused, and stop being wishy-washy. If situations are coming up where you have to step up into it, then step up into it. Don't be standing back. It is time to take hold of who you are. So let's take a look. Um, and how your year is going to start. Well, I've just said it's take off the brakes, let's move forward. Well, just before I do that, I want to say that whatever you do this year must be balanced with spiritual and physical. It can't all be material. You need to look at the spiritual and that's why you had the energy of the seven last year. January starts off with a nine. And although I said to you take the brakes off, it's all speed ahead, the nine's going, whoa, <laughs> slow down. What do we need to get rid of? You know, we've loaded up that car, it's full of stuff, but do we really need to take it all forward in this year? Let go of some stuff, release outdated, non-working stuff, and trust that you have what you need, or you will find it along the way. We do not need to hold on to everything else. Oh, again, I read something this morning about clutter and holding on to it for sentimental reasons. It might be that, but if you've got to carry this across a hot desert, you don't need to take what you don't need to take. So just let go and have this totally done now in January, ready to move ahead. Because in February, we've got the one energy. 
Now the one energy, like the three energy, is very creative and is also fresh start, new beginnings, sow seeds. So if you've been working in a business over the last eight years and you want to reap the rewards, it doesn't mean that it's not a time to grow new seeds. Things have worked, things haven't worked. We always need to be tweaking and moving forward. It's no different from fashion. You know, every year there's new fashion, whether it be hairstyles, shoes, clothes, and there are new ways, new interior designs. So we do need fresh things to come along and February is your month for fresh things. So sow your seeds. You were impatient to start, but now is the time that you can actually start. Put your best foot forward, let's get going. I wanna say watch your finances. It's spend wisely. The eight is very frivolous with money, it can lose money, it can gain money. But if this is really bringing your business up and not serving your ego, then spend it. If it's the other way around, I want to hold fire with it. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Yes, it is. The eight is the number of the CEO and perhaps it seems a bit overwhelming too big. But feel the fear and do it anyway, as the book says. Find your courage. If you're passionate about it, it's so much easier. People don't sway you. I know in the beginning when I first started talking about numerology, I felt so deflated when everybody would knock me back. But now I've lived with numerology for a number of years and every year I totally see and get what it does. It's a great guiding and support system and I follow it through. I'm passionate about it now and I've got no fear on promoting it wherever I go. Not everybody's ready to listen, but you know what? Even if one person hears you, it's still worth it. So sow those seeds in February. March, well, you got busy in February. I want to remind you, because this year is going to be a busy year and it's much faster than last year, is take time out on your personal relationships. Even your business relationships. Support from others we do need. It's statistically shown that those live the happiest the longest. It's all due to their social connection and interaction. It's all to do with the relationships we have around us. If you're an entrepreneur, you pretty much work on your own. Look at your relationships, join groups, find people and get out there and interact. Um, your personal relationship. The eight when it comes to divorce, if it's an eight life partner, they often lose a lot of money in divorce because they were so focused on their wealth and well-being, their, sorry, their wealth, their riches, they made a lot at the cost of spending time with the family. Do not let this get to you and do the same. So do take personal time out, date nights with your partner and enjoy them, connect with them, reconnect with them, share. Your partner may be in business with you, may not be in business with you. And even if they are in business with you, go out on dates that are totally non-business related. It's time to reconnect. Moving on to April and the three energy. This is a very social energy. It's a very creative energy. And I want you to be very optimistic. Dream big. It's the child number, it's imagination. What is it that you need to, to work on and be creative? Or better still, how can you go out and inspire? This could be a great time to talk about your business, to talk about how it affects and improves whatever it is that it does. Get out there and communicate it. It is social, so take time out for entertainment because next month's gonna be a very hard working month. Be optimistic and understand what perspective did you take from last year? If you're in an eighth year of your business and it was doing something, is it stale? Get creative and look at what needs to be improved on. Moving on to May and the four energy, this is all about structure and stability. Last month was let go of control, this month is take control. Plan, what is it you have lined up for the year ahead? Get your diary out and fill it. If you've got a launch coming on because of those seeds that you sown in February, then put them in the diary and now you've got something to work to. We're very good at avoiding what we need to do and, and not doing the mundane. So 
this is a mundane month. I want you to dot your I's and cross your T's. I want you to work hard, roll up your sleeves, get out there. Whether it's a physical business or a non-physical business, it really needs to have structure. Think of a building. If we don't put the foundations in, it's just going to topple over. This month, you really need to work hard, take opportunities, make progress, and align yourself to that vision. The A energy is really about the big picture and the four is the details. Sometimes we can be too much of a dreamer. Use this month to do the details, what really needs to do. And you don't have to do it. Perhaps it's a month of delegation. Build your team. Create this power team around you and allow them to carry forward the tasks that they do best while you do what you do best. Moving on, June is a five month promotion. So if you're in a job, you could get promoted. If you have a business, it's a great time to promote. <clears throat> be resourceful things will come up unexpected this month be ready for them and don't let them knock you off your axle if they're out of tune with what it is that you want if things are coming our way the universe is always delivering what we need not what we expect if it makes a step back perhaps we were going too far in the wrong direction use this energy to look at what can be changed and if changes happen be ready for them. That's why it's great to have your diary there because you can always come back to what you need to pick up when you need to pick it up. Five is a great energy for travel, new experiences. So what new experiences or travel can you put into place this month? Following month is July and it's the six energy. The six energy is all about family, friends and community. Is your business a community business? Get out there in your community, listen to your community, listen to your tribe. What is it that they want? What is it that they're asking for? We can get so stuck in our own head and our own ideas, delivering what we think they need, but not everybody is the same of us, but they may have some things that we're offering. So just check in, what is it that they need to have to empower themselves and move them forward? As I said, it's a family and community. Go around your shop floor. Who in your business could be promoted? Who could you be bringing up? Reward and recognition is the A energy. Give this to your staff. Give this to your JVs, your joint ventures, your consultants, your whoever you're working alongside. Put it out there. It is a number of family. And I want to say, again, the busy eight might forget the family. Take time out with the family. Yes, last month was about travel. This could be a family holiday that you book in the month of July. Be careful. Um, I want you to listen more this month and speak less. Universally, there's a one energy coming here and it could lead you to be arrogant and forceful. You know, the CEO's got plans, it's got business. And if you're chasing money, you will appear to be more arrogant. But if you've created your success around fulfillment, then you will be less, well, you will not have an arrogance about you and people will want to hear what you have to say. It's a great teacher, it's a healing number, it's the cosmic parent. So think about parenting yourself or a young child through a challenging situation. Moving on to August and the seven energy. The seven energy that you had a whole year of. Oh my gosh, yes, it does come back round again, luckily only once this year. But you have a seven and you've been spending or you spent 12 months with this seven energy previously, you know how to do it. Do it, review it. Uh, so ink it, think it, do it, review it, as said by Roger Hamilton in Wink, his book. And that's exactly what it is. What's working? What's not working? Does it need tweaking? Does it need dismissing? This is what it's about. This month, you may find that you want to be on your own. If you go off on your own, please tell your family and friends. Don't let them worry because it may appear that you're aloof or not interested, but we all need our own space. And in today's world, we're not having time for that space. Get off your phone, meditate more. Um, just go to more spiritual practices. Tune in with you, who you are and where you're going. September brings us an eight. So we've got an eight personal month and an eight personal year. Wow, this should really be the month. If everything has been done accordingly, then reward and recognition is totally yours. And I bow to you, well done. What about your personal power? How much stronger do you feel through this year from last year? 
did you have you taken action and is it reaping the benefits of doing it have you balanced spiritual and material? Because it's so important. That's why we had the seven before. The eight is the money number. But if we totally go after material, then we're not doing things that feed our heart and soul. And therefore, we're disconnecting from others. So the eight is your time to shine. Your time really now to inspire others. If we look at the three energy of the universe, and it is about inspiration and self-expression, each one of us in the month of September really should inspire by the number that we're in. So if you're in an eight, karma, what goes around comes around, you know, share your stories. So many people think that business is successful overnight, but they're not. Let people know that there have been challenges along the way personal and business it's nice to know that we're all human somewhere inside and just because it makes you look open and vulnerable somehow it doesn't when people really share a core part of who they are people connect on a much deeper level and they have trust so eight brings reward and recognition i truly hope you get what you really really well i know you'll get what you deserved but i hope it's worked out for the best for you as in you feel the reward. Some rewards don't feel rewarding until we look back with hindsight and realize that they are. So moving on, October is a nine energy for you and October always gives us a taster of next year. So for you, it's about letting go, releasing. So what's not working for you? And if your business has so, been so money or business focused, I want to say, can you include some voluntary work? Is there a charity you can support? Can, does your business serve the environment? Does your business serve humanity? It's also an energy of transformation. So you've gone through this one to eight years and you're coming to the ninth year. The ninth year is closure. The ninth year is about endless release, let go, transformation. Think about the butterfly from the caterpillar. We are transcending to a new epicycle. And for some of us, we transcend into other cycles as well. So the nine is asking you to focus on stability. This nine of this month is focus on stability. The eight should have given you the wealth and well-being that you need to move forward. The nine is asking you to let go and think of humanity. Moving on to November and the one energy. So I've just said all the endings. The reason why we have endings is to create space for new beginnings. Earlier in the year, you planted some new seeds. Now let's look at the saplings that have taken and replant them into bigger pots. Focus on those things that are working and those that aren't. I will say, if it's about humanity and the environment, then these will flourish more because you're moving into a nine year next year. December, a two energy, all work this year, and I've reminded you twice before about your relationships. I'm going to remind you again, because next year will take you into the nine energy where it's all about everyone and your nearest and dearest may feel forgotten. Spend some time with them over this month and really connect. Share what it is that you want to do. Maybe you can do environmental projects together, whether it be your children and their schools, your community, your partner, your business. That's what you need to be looking at. Relationships, again, are key to everything. There's an amazing book by Gary Chapman on the five love languages. I recommend everybody read this book. Have a copy, go back regularly and see what's going on. We all have a love language. It's quicker to love someone when we're in the moment. We're not always in the moment, but if we know their love language, then we can certainly be quick to pick up on when they're not being, their needs are not being met or our needs are not being met. This year can be an amazing year for you. Reward, recognition, personal empowerment, standing stronger. The energy of the three has allowed you to express your true self and create the joy of living. From last year and the seven energy, you will have learned to balance spiritual and material and it will be faster. So for all those that wrote to me about the slow year they had last year, well, here's a year where it's going to change. Reward and recognition, providing you stay intuitive, connected, grounded, then you will have an amazing year. If you found much reward from this video and you will 
please pin it so that you can look back every month to see what energy that you have out there. Subscribe to my channel to see the energy of the universe every month. And if you want to know more, because not all people in an eight personal year will have the same outcome because it depends on your life path, your heart's desire, your expression number, even your personality and a whole bunch more. If you want to know more about numerology, drop me a line. What do you want to know? If this wasn't your personal year, put your birth date down there and perhaps yours could be next. I have a number of people already requested, but I will work through them all before the end of the month. I've loved sharing with you and I look forward to seeing all those rewards and recognitions, emoji forms, or photos or any interactive share of what you've got ahead. You in this year are going to make a massive difference in the business world that can help the, the spiritual world. Thank you for watching and remember it's your life, L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day. When you do this you are doing the things that light you up which is so number three energy. Thanks for watching. See you in my next personal year video very soon.